Noisy Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy News Week for the week of April 9th, 2022. Here's where I fill you in on some notable news posted to NoisyPixel.net this past week. Before I get into the news, I'd just like to say that I'm currently playing an H game, Cafe Stella and the Reaper's Butterflies. I can tell you what I'm playing because the game's already out, but expect my review. Decided to go, go back to what I'm good at instead of reviewing all the uh, AAA, AA games that, that release, I am going to turn my focus to visual novels where I am a little more comfortable with expressing my personality and expanding my knowledge of different cultures, getting cultured, as they say. Expect more reviews from myself and from all the other writers at Noisy Pixel coming up. April's kind of a dead month, so we're gonna use that time to catch up on some of the indie projects that we weren't able to fit into our schedule last month. But we'll catch up, trust me. With that said, please let me know what you're playing in the comments below, and we'll talk about it. Now, onto the news. We had a whole group of people, Robert Gilbert, Devolver Digital, Terrible Toy Box, and Lucasfilm Games that have come together to announce Return to Monkey Island. This is a follow-up to Secret of Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2. And all I can say is, do people still like point-and-click adventures as much as I do? It's not the biggest genre, but I'll tell you that like Broken Sword, whew, so good. So good. If you haven't played Broken Sword, go, go play it. What else are you playing right now? Can uh, Call of Duty? No, I doubt it. Devolver Digital also released a new trailer for the Flying Wild Hog developed samurai action game Trek to Nomi, coming to all consoles except for Nintendo Switch on May 5th, 2022. The game highlights some of the 2D fight scenes as well as a few more characters and locales. The game looks great. May 5th, not too far away. Let's go. There's also a preview on the site, so be sure to check that out. Axis Games announced that they will be the one to publish Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Burst 4th Karo Gone Birth in the West. The game is a shoot 'em up coming to PS4 and Switch in summer 2022. You won't have to wait long. There's some news flying around about it, but we haven't really seen much of the game, so it's probably not that pretty. But I mean, you weems will buy anything. I'm with you though, because I've already pre ordered this next game from East Asia Soft Seven Pirates H. The game is coming to Nintendo Switch on May 12th, 2022, the day after my birthday for those keeping track. This game is the third entry in the, what is it, Monster Mon Piece, do we still call it that, series? And it's really cool. Actually, take that back. I own it on Vita, so I've played the game. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's different than the other ones for sure. It's a little more 3D, but I mean, what? If I had to rate it, because I'm probably not going to review it, but if I had to rate it right now, from what I've played, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. It's okay. I mean, if you're trying to get some fan service, it's like on the scale of like Bullet Girls, if you've ever played Bullet Girls, which is another series that is very fan service -y. But it's coming and I've already pre-ordered it, so who cares. P-Cubed announced that they will publish the anime deck builder Super Bullet Break on PS4, Switch, and PC via Steam later this year. Super Bullet Break is like a card deck builder where you have like 160 like bullets, which are the girls who are actually just like cute anime girls and you collect them and you build the deck and then you go uh, roguelike into a dungeon and you battle. I don't know, it looks cute, we'll find out. I don't know much about this game. I just learned about it the other day and I liked the trailer. Ooh. Let's see, what do I want to say? And I also liked that they decided that there's going to be no microtransactions, which I doubt they could have done it. Well, I mean, it's a Switch game. They could have probably done it. But they're they're like uh, pushing that there is no microtransactions in this game. So that's cool. Once you buy the game, you can get all the girls. Moving on, Spike Chunsoft is publishing the Mages Developed Action RPG Made in Abyss, Binary Star Falling into Darkness on PS4, Switch, and PC. And it's coming in fall. 2022. This game received a new trailer that actually shows gameplay, and like Mage's games, it's not the prettiest game that you've seen in the world, but it's a little more 3D-esque than we're used to, and they actually put in for English dub, which I'm pretty sure they're probably going to have a Japanese voice track on it, but it's there. That's cool. Quality. Developer City Connection announced that Death Smiles 1 and 2 will be released on PC in summer 2022. This game is already available now on PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, but 
for the PC lovers out there, you can go ahead and wait your turn to play this game. Happy Night announced that the Matrix software developed tactical RPG Brigadine The Legend of Runicia will launch on PC via Steam on May 11th, 2022. That is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. A Twitter user by the name of Renka Schedule shared a screenshot of a possible trademark from Square Enix that reveals that they are working on a new title, Tactics Ogre Reborn. This could be the remaster, remake, or reboot of the Tactics Ogre series, which is a part of the Ogre Battle series. But Tactics Ogre kind of paved the way for games like Final Fantasy Tactics. Jean d'Arc is, is another one that I, I really like. I think the last Tactics Ogre game was a remaster on the PSP of Let Us Cling Together. Really good game. If you find it on PSP, just play that game. It's super good. I promise you. Clouded Leopard Entertainment announced that they will be publishing the dungeon crawling RPG Demon Gaze Extra on April 26th, 2022. The game is also available on PS4 and Switch, I think, in the West now, but it's coming to PC. Again, for your PC nerds. Here's some fun news. Japanese retailer Fuji Dakamakura has revealed that they will be releasing an official Neon Falcom licensed body pillow featuring Reen Schwarzer. And he's like all sexy there for you. And it's available for pre-order on April 1st. So now you can get it. It's also going to be available through May 9th. The body pillow costs a total of $112.35. So if you want it, it's there for you, I'm sure, because he has his ever-growing harem, as we all know. On to visual novel news. This one goes out to Brian, who is surely in the comments of this video. Anonymous Code received two hours of gameplay that was streamed. The game is coming to Switch and PS4 in Japan on July 28th, 2022. This is the newest science adventure entry, and it's not coming west at this time, I believe. Yes, it's not. But... We can wait. Love Lab announced that they will localize Maid Sun no Iru Kurashi. I said that right. This game is about this guy who finds this maid girl and they become friends. And I think somewhere along the line, someone gets fucked. Shirovune shared the new trailer for Doki Yusi Bangin' Summer. The dating sim visual novel will be released on Jern and Steam on April 14th, 2022, which is uh, next week. So you can do all the dating sims you want. And that's it. So reviews on the site, we got Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, Chrono Cross, The Radical Dreamers Edition, Chinatown Detective Agency, and Ardros Dunos 2. And that's it. That's the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and we'll be sure to uh, connect next week. Bye.